Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Batman Eternal, issue 18. And before I start talking about Batman Eternal, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic Uno, episode 59, and that's show or review all the comics I read this week in one show. So here are those exclusive comics. We got Goddess, issue, uh, Goddess Inc., issue 1. Detective Comics, issue 34. Tiny Titans Return to the Treehouse, issue 3. Future's End, issue 14. She-Hulk, issue 7. Superior Foes of Spider-Man, issue 14. And Green Arrow, issue 34. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic Uno, episode 59. Also, go check out a video I did on Luke's channel. I guess Luke has a channel now, the person I started Comic Duo with. Uh, he has a YouTube channel. Be sure to check it out. Um, we did a video called The Best Friend Tag. If you want to learn a little bit more about me, go check it out, and I'll be annotated. But let's talk about Batman Eternal, issue 18. Uh, I have not been loving Batman Eternal, because it's been a roller coaster ride. There's been good issues, very few, but there's been good issues, and mostly bad issues. Um... But it seems like there's a there's a trend that you'll get like three bad issues and like one or two good issues. So I'm hoping this is going to be the good issue time for Batman Journal. And I was looking forward to this because we're getting uh, some more Batgirl story. You know, I love Barbara Gordon. She's one of my favorite characters of all time. So it's kind of cool to see some Barbara Gordon here. And hopefully more of the Bat family. What we've been getting with the other Batman Eternal issues is more about Batwing and Spectre and what's going on with Future Zen with Tim Drake. Now we're getting to see the Bat Family interact, which is what I wanted to see with Batman Eternal in the first place. Uh, but I love the cover. I think it's really cool artwork and has to do with uh, Killer Croc, which we definitely see in this issue. So really cool cover. So let's see what's going on with the story and see if I like that. So with this issue, we get to see a couple of stories going on. One with Batgirl, um, her obviously trying to get her father out of jail, and she's working with uh, Red Hood and Batwoman. Uh, three heroes that usually don't work together, even though they're part of the same Bat family. They, they don't end up working with each other that often. Uh, so we can see them work together, and the person that they're trying to get is able to manipulate them be with these toys. So Batgirl on the end of the issue starts attacking um, Red Hood and Batwoman, which is uh, definitely fun for the story. Uh, and then the next part is actually a Batman story in Batman Eternal. Yes, it's happened. Uh, he's teaming up with a new lieutenant and learns a little bit about Lieutenant uh, Bard, and they learn a little bit about each other. So it's interesting to see that. They're trying to chase um, someone who killed this, this girl, this little girl, so that's what they're trying to find right now, and teaming up with Killer Croc at the same time. Uh, we can see a little bit uh, with James Gordon, uh, Commissioner Gordon in jail, just see how life is in jail, and that's pretty much what's going on with the issue. And I gotta say, finally we get a solid issue of Batman Eternal. I really enjoyed this. The art's a little dark, I gotta say that. Um, there are some points where art is really shaded dark. Um, not a lot of points. I think the art's actually an improvement from what we've been getting with the blocky, them closing their eyes every panel. Uh, but I really like this story. First of all, obviously I really enjoyed the Batgirl story. I, I love the ending of what Red Hood had to say about Batgirl, where he's just like, the Robins just kind of followed Batgirl, because we always knew Batgirl was the best, and she knows how to handle herself, which worries me about the new creative team with Batgirl, because it seems like she's gonna, like, really degrade her character, but we'll have to see when we get to the comic, uh, we'll get to the comic. Um, but it's really cool to see that about Batgirl and see uh, Red Hood have such a respect for, for Barbara because we don't get to see them interact that often. Uh, so I like that a lot. I like their story and looking forward to see Barbara attack Red Hood and Batwoman and see how that story goes. So looking forward to that. Like their story arc. Uh, like that Batman was actually in this issue. Like I said, Batman Eternal has hardly had any Batman and finally we're attacking the Batman Eternal story, which is really Commissioner Gordon's story. And Bat Family trying to figure out how to get Commissioner Gordon out of here, the mob, the gang wars, that's what Batman Eternal's about. But a lot of these issues have been nothing about Batman Eternal. So finally we get to see Batman and Batman Eternal. And uh, with Lieutenant Bard and Batman teaming up, I like that because that has to at least do something with Commissioner Gordon and the whole gang war stuff. Do we trust Lieutenant Bard? I like that. Um, trying to think what else happened in this issue. Uh, that's pretty much it. We just get to see the Batgirl and uh, Batman story, but I think both of them are great. Uh, really liked it. Solid issue. Good art. I'm going to give it four stars. Finally a good Batman Eternal issue. Let's hope it could stick this way. I'm telling you it does not happen, but let's hope. Let's hope it could stick this way, and I want to give Batman
Batman Eternal four stars or higher or pick of the week because I want to enjoy this series as Bat Family fan. But we'll see. So I'm going to give it four stars. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Gano. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Gano and the Ryan Situations. And don't forget to like my Facebook page. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.